Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic about a real Abdul. This guy, his real name is Abdul, Abdul Samad. And he is a supposedly a cleric, Muslim cleric from Indonesia. He said that there's a genie in the cross and that is to explain to a woman why there is a power when she think even just thinking about the crucifixion. So a woman asked me once, why do I get the chills whenever I think about the crucifix? He said, because there is an infidel jinn in the crucifix and because of the statues of her Christ on it. We should never worship as statues, Samad said. Okay, first of all, we Christians we don't worship statues. And actually from the first chapter, from the first pages of, of, uh, of the book of Genesis, it says, make no images of what is above or down in earth in order to worship. So whoever make images to worship he is doing wrong and images should not be worshipped in any way and actually i do not know any christian worship images no christian worship the cross uh, some people they make it as an art as a remembrance of uh, of uh, let us say jesus but we don't even know how jesus looked like even they say that there is a there is a print of his face uh, from his blood etc but who need to know the face of jesus how he looked like the lord he will come in his glory one day and we will see him and we don't worship a piece of towel, have a face of Jesus or a cross. Simply, this is a stupidity is taught to Muslims by Muslim cleric that we Christian worship a cross. You Muslim, you kiss a black stone and the stone is made in the shape of a vagina. And then when we ask you why you kiss the stone, you say to us because the prophet kiss it. At least if a Christian, he do such a thing which is not required by any Christian, he is just respecting what Jesus, what happened to Jesus in the cross. Otherwise, the cross is a piece of wood. It's just a piece of wood. Actually, every electric column in the street is a cross. So are we going to kiss them too? So this is very stupid of those who try to explain the power of faith. When we speak about the cross, we speak about Jesus. And he just says something very important here. He could not deny that the crucifixion have a power of those who believe. And here, this is about religion. This is not about sign. It's called the cross. It's about Jesus and the cross. When we put them together, there is a special feeling this woman she feel. And look what this man he said. Because there is there is an infidel jinn in uh, uh, in the crucifix, because of the statues of a Christ in it. So he admitted that because of a Christ, this is not a piece of wood no more. This is not a piece of metal no more. This is not just a symbolic. But Christ, he make it something powerful. So Christ is the power, it's not the cross. The cross is just what for Jesus did. But be, by having the cross attached to the name of Jesus, that thing will be powerful. And he could not explain to this woman why she have such a feeling. So he tried to, to make her live in fear and superstition answer by saying there is a genie. But according to Islam, genie, he cannot be in a solid piece of wood. Genie is, can be, according to Muhammad, a snake. He can be even a dog. He can be, he can even can as a human. When Muhammad, he received the satanic verses, a, a, a shaitan, which is a genie, he came to him in a, in a, 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 in a shape of Jibreel, and he gave him the satanic verses. So, I never heard anywhere in Islam that genie can be a piece of wood. That is something this man, he have to be proven to us. However, here we notice how they are unable to explain. And in order because they cannot explain, they have to install fear in your heart to make you run away from the cross so you will never think about it. Here we go, we get a genie inside the cross. Now, if we go and look a little bit, a little bit in the Bible, we will find the following, which is going to explain who is this man for us and his foolishness. For the image, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved is the power of God. So this guy, he could not explain the power of God in the cross of Jesus. So he said something foolish and foolishness is speak from the mouth of those who believe in Allah. I never saw one of them speaking smart and here, here we go, my videos is all over. Go and watch them and die laughing at the, at the foolishness. The second you follow the devil, you became a fool, official fool. And you say the most stupid thing ever. So 
Here he could not explain to the women. He did not say to her, okay, no, this is fake feeding. No, he says, oh, you feel that. But this is true, you feel it, but there is a genie inside. He could not explain. I mean, why the Muslims, why the Muslims, they fabricate stories in order to install fear in the heart of Muslims so they stay away from a Christianity. And this is the whole purpose. Look what Muhammad, not only him, this man have a foolishness speaking. Muhammad before him, he have a phobia of the cross. If we go in the hadith, we will find Muhammad saying the following. This is the hadith reference in the front of you. And this is the hadith here. Muhammad claiming that Jesus will descend. And remember here, Jesus will descend. Remember here, Muslims, Jesus will descend. That means he is living. He is right now in heaven, not in hell. So Jesus will descend, same as God will descend. No man will descend. Only God can do that. No man will come down except the messiah according to muslims will come down so he is the man but in the same time he is a just and judge which means he is must be the absolute god because how you can be just and how you can be judge to order to have just judgment you have to be a person who have a knowledge of god which means of the unseen nobody can lie to you nobody can fool you so even muhammad have a phobia and the phobia is about jesus the jesus the judge the absolute powerful and then he said, and then he will break the crosses. And by the way, this is a false translation. There's no crosses in Arabic. It says a cross. Here you ask yourself, Jesus coming from the seven galaxies, seven heaven, whatever it is, to, to break a cross, which a cross is that? That is the most stupid phobia ever. But because this man, he have a phobia and he cannot handle the cross. So he said, Jesus will come and will destroy the cross. But every electric column is a cross. Even in your car, you have the cross. Even in your back you have a cross. Even in your computer you have a cross. Open your cover of your of your phone, you will see how many crosses there. That's the most stupid thing is. So like Jesus will spend, spend for the rest of eternity just breaking crosses. That's stupid. And what is the cross anyway? So because he have a phobia from the cross and he have an anger from the cross, so he said that Isa will come and will destroy the cross. And then Muhammad, because he have a phobia from pigs, he says he will kill the swine, he will kill the pig. And here we ask ourselves, which pig is that, you idiot? I mean, Jesus is coming from beyond the galaxies to kill a pig. Have you ever watched a cowboy movie? Are you saying to me that Jesus will have two guns and the pig will have two guns and we will have a Western music whistle? Du -du 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 -du. And then they shoot at each other and then Jesus killed the pig? That because the phobia of Islam. Phobia of Muhammad is a superstition man. He says stupid things, does not make sense. So Jesus coming, he is the judge, he is justice, but he's just a prophet. He's no one, but he is judge and he is justice. That's impossible. And he will kill, he will destroy the cross. What cross? I mean, leave the cross. He will burn the whole earth anyway. <laughs> and then he will kill the swine. I mean, what kind of God, his biggest enemy is little tiny animal. His name is Mr. Pig. This is telling you that this religion is a stupid cult religion. The same exactly when Muhammad he said that when you see a black dog kill him because what he have a shaitan genie so even the dog which is because it's a black Muhammad gets scared of it and he think that the black dog is a shaitan every black dog must be killed any black animal actually which is f just black have to be slaughtered why they ask him he said because the black dog is the devil so this man is doing the same if you see something and you are scared of it simply uh, you are a muslim you want to or you want to scare people of something so here if a man now is, is a let us say a powerful god he see a black dog he will be fearing the, the black dog because muhammad he just said that the black dog is the devil remember muhammad he could not receive quran because there was a dog under his bed so the angel jibreel with the 600 wings he could not enter the house of muhammad because of a puppy so even the jibreel have a phobia and the phobia is a phobia of a puppy. So this is religion of phobia, superstition, stupidity. In order to explain things which he cannot explain. The power of a Christ, the power of the cross. They create false fiction answers based on superstition to make Muslims fear believing in Jesus. And that again is explained very well in a very short verse in the Bible. That those who they are perishing because they don't believe in Jesus. For them, the cross is a foolishness. For us, 
it is the power of God. And my friend, you just saw yourself. Jesus will be the judge. Jesus' cross is felt the, the power of the cross of Jesus. The, not the cross, the cross of Jesus. The most time they feel something special about it. And actually, let me tell you something maybe many people do not know. There's thousands of churches in the Middle East funded by Muslims. And I'll explain to you how. Muslims, when they get sick, they don't go to the mosque to get healing. They go to churches and they make donation. And they make what is called in Arabic nadr, which means uh, 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 nadr to nadran, which means I make a promise. If the Messiah he heal me, I will give etc. thousand dollars to the church or this Christian church uh, donation. So this, the biggest number of funding for our churches in the Middle East is coming from the Muslim pocket because they get healed. They see the miracle of Jesus and they feel it and they believe in it. But what they can do, they cannot say we are out of the cult of Islam. Ask yourself why they are coming to the cross of Jesus to heal themselves, but they don't go to the black stone of Muhammad to heal themselves. Because the black stone of Muhammad brings nothing but disease. Millions of people kissing it and the bacteria are spreading. But the, 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 the faith in Jesus, you do not need to see Jesus. Faith in Jesus can change your life. And here the verse in the front of us, one of many verses is speaking about the power of the cross in the Bible. But it's very wise very short, very sharp, answering the foolishness of this man who called himself Abdus Samud. And by the way, if you are an Indonesian, I close this video by challenging this man if he dare. He will never dare. I know that. You know that. All of you know that. We challenge all Indonesian who call themselves Ustad. And by the way, why you call yourself Ustad? I mean, even your prophet did not call himself that. But because those funny people, they love titles and from titles they make money. Look, Christian Prince is not a priest. I am not a priest. I am not a bishop. I am not ustad. I am just a humble human being and none of you can debate me because I have the power of Christ with me, which you can say I'm going to wear my cross too. So you better get ready. I have a genie there. So my friend, they explain to us their fear of Christ by fictions and stupid lies. And answers of fictions and superstition proven to us that Muhammad and the religion of Islam is based on stupidity. I hope this video answered your request for the one who asked me. And please feel free to, to translate to Indonesian, especially Indonesian people, so all Indonesian can see how stupid this cult is, who believe that genie have a power over the believers. And by the way, he just proved to us that the Quran is false. I just remember something. Let me mention it to you. In chapter 15, verse number 42, it says, Over my servant you have no authority. Allah speaking to shaitan. And shaitan, which is a genie, by the way, for those who do not know, shaitan is a genie in Islam. So over my servant you have no authority. So how you are Muslims afraid of the power of shaitan if he is a genie in the cross to affect the Muslims? That is proving Islam to be false. Because Islam promised you, Quran promised you, that shaitan have no, of no power over you, those who believe in Allah. And this is a proven again that the Quran is false because Muhammad himself received satanic verses. So how shaitan, he puts satanic verses in his mouth, yet shaitan have no authority over anyone. He's a believer unless he is a bad criminal. That means Muhammad must be a criminal. This is my answer for those who like to learn. And Islam is false and Christ is Lord. As always, we prove it. See you again. Translate the video. Share it. God is be with you and the peace of Christ with all of us. Thank you very much.